Hi, I'm Dave from GadgetHelpline.com and today we're going to review the new Nokia Lumia 710 Windows smartphone. It's Nokia's second Windows phone after the Lumia 800 and it's aimed more at the pay-as-you-go and budget contract markets. Nokia sacrificed some of the great features of the Lumia 800 to make the phone cheaper but it's still a fantastic phone and it shares some of the same features as the Lumia 800. So we're going to take a look at the two now. We bring in the 800 we can see that the two phones are very similar in size. They've got the same 3.7 inch size screen, although the Lumia 710 uses a, an LCD screen rather than the AMO LED screen, which is much brighter and more vibrant on the Lumia 800. At the bottom on the 800, we've got touch capacitive buttons, whereas on the 710, you've got physical buttons, which can be pressed. The Lumia 710 features a five megapixel camera on the back here, it's autofocus with an LED flash. If we compare that to the Lumia 800, it has an 8 megapixel camera with a Carl Zeiss Tessar lens and dual LED flash. So that's the difference in the camera on the two phones. On the inside, the two phones have the same processor. It's a 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm processor. They have the same amount of RAM, which is 512 megabytes, so they run at about the same speed. The storage is different. The Lumia 710 has less storage, which is 8 gigabytes. Unfortunately, there's no micro SD card to expand upon that, whereas the Lumia 800 has 16 gigabytes and again, no SD card slot. They both run the same software, which is Windows Phone 7.5, and they both have the same additional apps that Nokia has added on, such as eBay, Sky News, Nokia Drive, and Nokia Music. So in that respect, the phones are the same, whereas the Lumia 710 is much cheaper. So if we take away the Lumia 800, we're going to focus on the Lumia 710 now. So we pick it up here. On the front, we've got the earpiece. We have the proximity sensor, which will shut off the screen when you're on a call. If we look onto the top, Nokia's changed the design slightly. We have the power button here rather than on the side, the 3.5mm headphone jack, and the micro USB port, which is no longer under a cover as it is on the Lumia 800. Going around the side of the phone, we've got a slot to take off the back cover nothing on the bottom except a slot for a lanyard or strap and over here we have a dedicated camera button and we have volume up and down buttons so it's a pretty basic design it's a little bit thicker than the Lumia 800 and on the back we've got a soft touch cover which can easily be taken off so it's quite nice to hold it's a good shape and size it's a little bit bigger than the iPhone 4 and it's around about the same size as the Lumia 800 so if we take a look at the Windows Phone 7.5 operating system the same Metro user interface with the tiles on here. You can customize these. You can download apps from the marketplace and you can pin the apps as tiles as I've done here with Spotify uh, and with WhatsApp. And you can pin them to your, to your main screen and customize the layout how you want it. If we swipe across, we've got a full list of applications, including settings, various other bits and pieces that are on the phone. And this is just a basic Windows Phone 7.5 user experience. There's nothing really taken away. One of the differences most people worry about when comparing the Lumia 710 and the Lumia 800 is the difference in the camera. It has a five megapixel autofocus camera, as we said, and we found through testing to be a very good camera. So we're just gonna take a look at it now. As you can see, you can load it up straight from the home screen. It's got autofocus, tap to focus. So you can tap on an area of screen and it will take that picture for you there. You've also got with Windows Phone 7.5 a host of settings. It lets you alter the exposure, the white balance, choose different scenes, the ISO metering, uh, various different things. You can, you can really play around with the settings to get the photos how you want them. Um, but we found with the default settings, the Lumia 710 takes decent photos. And we've got a few on here we can show you. As with all Windows phones, you can swipe from left to right in the camera app and you can take a look at the photos you've taken. Despite the, uh, the drop in quality in the camera and the screen itself, your snaps actually look pretty decent on the Lumia 710. It's very good for a phone that you can get nowadays for £150 on pay as you go. For a budget handset, the experience you get with the Nokia Lumia 710 is a great one. Thanks to the same processor and the same operating system as the Lumia 800, there's very little difference when using the handset itself. 
got plenty of apps on here. Nokia's preloaded its great apps. Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps, and Nokia Music. So you've got Office, various other applications that Nokia has added for you uh, without making the phone slow or sluggish. It's nippy, it's quick to open applications, it's quick to switch between applications as well. So for those who don't mind the drop in the camera quality and in the screen, the Lumia 710 is a fantastic option if you'd like to get away from the likes of iPhone and Android and try out Microsoft's Windows Phone. If you're still undecided on which Nokia Windows Phone to get, we have a review of the Lumia 800 already on our YouTube channel, so why not check that out? Otherwise, the Nokia Lumia 710 is a fantastic option for those who want to pay very little per month on a contract basis for a smartphone or who wish to get a new phone outright on pay-as-you-go. It's a great alternative to the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Ace on Android or BlackBerry's Curve range. You can get the phone now for around £15 or £20 per month on most networks and Vodafone are even doing a deal for £149.99 to get the handset outright on pay-as-you-go. That's all for our review of the Nokia Lumia 710. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter, as well as on our YouTube channel for more video reviews.